Bat loves the night. Bats are the only mammals that can really fly, and flight has made them very successful. There are more than 900 species living in almost every habitat from subarctic tundra to tropical forests and deserts. Birds may rule the air by day, but bats are the monarchs of the night. This book is about one of the pipstrel bats. Pipstrels are found around the world from North America to Africa, Europe, Asia, and Australia. Bat is waking upside down as usual, hanging by her toenails. Her beady eyes open, her pixie ears twitch. She shakes her thistle down fur. She unfurls her wings, made of skin so fine the finger bones inside show through. The pipstrel bat's body is no bigger than your thumb. A bat's wing is its arm and hand. Four extra long fingers support the skin of the wing. Now she unhooks her toes and drops into black, black space. With a sound like a tiny umbrella opening, she flaps her wings. Bat is flying. Bat's toes are shaped like hooks so it's no effort for a bat to hang upside down. Out, out under the broken pile into the nighttime garden. Over bushes, under trees, between fence posts, through the tangled hedge, she swoops untouched. Bat is at home in the darkness, as a fish is in the water. She doesn't need to see. She can hear where she is going. Bats can see, but in the dark, good ears are more useful than eyes. Bat shouts as she flies, louder than a hammer blow, higher than a squeak. She beams her voice around her like a flashlight, and the echoes come singing back. They carry a sound picture of all her voice has touched. Listening hard, Bat can hear every detail, the smallest twigs, the shape of leaves. Gliding and fluttering back and forth, she shouts her torch of sound among the trees, listening for her supper. All is still. Using sound to find your way like this is called echolocation. The noise bats make when they shout is too high for humans to hear. Then a fat moth takes flight below her. Bat plunges fast as blinking and grabs it in her open mouth. But the moth's pearly scales are moon dust slippery. It slithers from between her teeth. Bat dives, nets it with a wingtip, scoops it to her mouth. This time she bites hard. Its wings fall away like the wrapper from a candy. In a moment, the moth is eaten. Bat sneezes. The dusty scales got up her nose. A bat can eat dozens of big moths in a single night, or thousands of tiny flies, gnats, and mosquitoes. Most species of bats eat insects, but there are some that eat fruit, fish, frogs, even blood. Hunting time has run out. The dark will soon be gone. In the east, the sky is getting light. It's past Bat's bedtime. She flies to the roof in the last shadows and swoops in under the broken tile. The place where bats sleep in the day is called a roost. It can be in a building, a cave, or a tree, so long as it's dry and safe. Inside, there are squeakings. Fifty hungry batlings hang in a huddle hooked to a rafter by oversized feet. 
Bat lands and pushes in among them, toes first, upside down again. Baby bats can't fly. Sometimes mother bats carry their babies when they go out, but mostly the babies stay behind in the roost and crowd together to keep warm. Bat knows her baby's voice and calls to it. The velvet scrap batling climbs aboard and clings to Bat's fur by its coat hanger feet. Wrapped in her leather wings, the baby suckles Bat's milk. Baby bats drink mother's milk until they learn to fly at a few weeks old. Then they can leave the roost at night to find their own food. Outside, the birds are singing. The flowers turn their faces to the sun. But inside the roof hole, the darkness stays. Bat dozes with her batling, waiting. Bats are nocturnal. That means they rest by day and come out at night to search for food. When the tide of night rises again, Bat will wake and plunge into the blackness, shouting. Bat loves the night.